uh, my favorite moment had to be uh, the UTEP game in conference tournament last year. You know, uh, nobody really expected us to win it. You know, we went in conference tournament and pulled out all four games, four nights. Favorite moment was definitely going to the NCAA tournament for the first time. You know, that's something that we all wanted to do and something we strove that we had, we strive to do. So we, we made it. We was happy we did. Something the school hasn't done in a, a long time prior to us doing it. So it's a great feeling to bring that back to the university. My favorite moment since I've been here at U of H was probably last night, last game versus UAB. Which was my first time really getting in the game, getting a significant amount of minutes. Oh, um, the pregame ritual that I have that nobody else would see is that me and Mo, we always got to at least get a nap for at least an hour and a half before every game that we have. Just take a nap before every game. Just lay down. Even if I can't sleep, just lay down. I got to cut hair and stuff before games. They just expect to get free cuts, you know, like my craftsmanship is just, you know, not up to par. Me dancing before the games kind of came around my first year here. I couldn't play and I was the manager and we were in like a hotel. I can't remember what city we were in. And the dude from Pitt was in the middle of the circle and he was dancing and then Horace McGlossler that's no longer here was like, why don't you do that before a game? So I did it and that's how I started. Um, my nickname on the team is Z. Everybody called me Z, so real simple. Simple AB. Just my initials, man. Just Mo. Everybody just called me Mo. Mo better. <laughs> That's about it. Nickname on the team is probably Fat Boy. Zamar so Nixon is probably the person that gave me that nickname since he came up with the fact that I'm real fat. So. Uh, sto stories about my other teammates, there's, there's many stories. We do a lot of different things, whether we're on the road, in the locker room, there's numerous stories. That's not a good question. <laughs> stories about them? Not, not really. Not, not, nothing crazy. Um, now that my career is coming to a close, uh, it's definitely be a good experience these past four years here. Um, I've got to see all the senior nights from when I was a freshman on to now, and now it's actually my turn. So it's been a good four years here, and I'm excited to finish up. Uh, not really, you know. I think it'll sink in, you know, probably like the last game we on the court, you know, when, when the clock hits zero. But um, it's been, you know, great two years here, you know, uh, setting goals and. Uh, being a cougar helped me accomplish it. I'm just gonna miss my teammates and coaching staff and people tell me what to do sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna be on my own after this. Advice for future cougars is just always play hard and take pride in everything you do on the floor. Uh, before they get here, I think they should, you know, research the history because you come in not knowing, you know, how many great players came here. Drexler, you know, Bajuan, you got Hayes, you got a lot of, a lot of tradition. Coach Young is actually on the coaching staff, so I think they should know you know what their expectations are because Houston have uh, been at the top of the top of the, the barrel for a while. Huh? So. Advice that I would give future Cougars is to just come here and play their game and play as hard as they can and try to make something out of their lives. Take pride in being a Cougar. Um, it's been a lot of rich tradition here in the university and it's an honor to say that I'm a Houston Cougar. <laughs>